Hey guys, this is Rex Bear with Leak Project. Just when you thought things couldn't get any cooler, there is a company out there now called Moon Express that actually won the Google Lunar X Prize, and it is actually going to have the opportunity to mine the moon. Literally, it's going to be mining the moon. Not only does it have approval from the government, but it's also being heavily funded. And this is going to be quite interesting because it reminds me of the titanium alloy type rocks that were brought back from the Apollo 16 mission. And the Apollo 16 mission had these rocks that here is an image of a, a thin layer of one of the rocks that was brought back close up. This is a zoomed in image. And there's some speculation that this is actually a neuron, like a fossilized neuron of some type. So that is very interesting because if that's the case, I'm just going to give you guys an idea right here. See, this is something if you want to look at what a the architecture of the neuron actually looks like, you can see that it looks very similar to that. And this is from a titanium alloy rock that if you read the description of it, let me share this with you right here. So these are highly, to give you an example, the amount of titanium that's actually in these rocks is about 10 times the amount than what's found in some of the most heavy deposits of titanium here on our planet. So that's incredible. Now, if you zoom out here, let me go back here for a second. These are the ones that I think are even more incredible because if you read the description, glass covered, round object. Let's zoom in on this. You can see it's titanium, TI, it's the titanium. You can see it's very smooth surface. But then what gets even stranger is when you zoom in and you look at it under a microscope. I mean, look at that. Doesn't that look like some type of neuron to you, like a brain neuron or some type of fossilized neuron. I mean, it's, it does to me. And there's a lot of other people that think it does also. Now I could be wrong. You know I mean? This could just be woo woo hour here. I could definitely be looking into this too much, but that's why we do these podcasts to bring up thought inspiring ideas and possibilities. And if that's the case, I mean, what is it from? What is it actually fossilized from? Is this like a strange type of genetically modified exterior to protect certain areas of the moon. I mean, there's speculation that the moon is already inhabited and it's got a base in there that it's hollow. If you've seen the satellite imagery, where they actually did some audio record, I shouldn't say satellite imagery, but there was a satellite that recorded some audio when we landed out there and the moon rung like a bell. It has a very weird orbit to it. If you look at the craters, which by the way, I was looking at the craters last night with the telescope and it's amazing how close up the moon looks when you have a decent scope and there's not chemtrail clouds or just regular clouds nice night it was gorgeous it was you could see the textures and there was a couple areas that i was looking at on the moon where in these craters right in the center of the crater you would see something that pops up it looks like there's a structure there's a couple areas that look like some type of structure in the center of these craters. But what I was saying a second ago about the craters is you'll notice different widths and some crater sites, some blast sites are larger than others, but the depth is all about the, all about the same. None are deeper than the others. There is also some satellite infrared of these giant maskins on the back of the moon which are like these gravitational type thrusters almost. So just a lot of strange anomalies with the moon. But could there be some type of like nanotech slash titanium alloy slash biological infusion of a, I don't know, almost like a, a defense layer or something? Or do you think it's just all natural? Or maybe it's picking up on biological stuff from planet earth due to the gravitation or something and it's sucking it into 
the you know it's sucking it into the moon essentially into these rocks and then it's infusing because of the temperature and whatever else or some you know some other possibilities these are just things that i've questioned before and i know that people have also brought this to my attention so then it makes me think about how you know even back in 2011 if you read the article from science news where they found a ton of titanium literally tons and tons and tons of high density titanium on the moon and so now we've literally got people going out there mining the moon this could be the beginning of a space race you know going out harvesting elements from different planets the moon asteroids comets etc i think this is fascinating so here is a map of the actual rover the chinese rover that went to the moon and there's a great article spaceflight101.com if you want to read this and it just talks about how they found these enormous concentrations of titanium high titanium formed anywhere from three to one billion years ago and this is a good website that kind of gives their analysis on how they came to the conclusion that the close-ups that you're looking at of these rocks are actually fossilized neurons of some type. So let's take this a step further. Have you heard of Ingo Swan? Anybody that does remote viewing or studied remote viewing has probably heard of Ingo. He is the king of remote viewing to many people. I mean, he's definitely up there in the top echelon and he wrote a book called Penetration about how there was an experience that he had many years ago where these men in black literally picked him up. They said, hey, we want you to do some work for us. We'll pay you a thousand bucks. And they took him to this undisclosed location very far underground. He couldn't figure out if because there are these two twins, essentially, that took him there, you know, very muscular physique, military type not a lot of emotion, and he thought they were some type of men in black or clones or something like that, but they essentially had him do multiple remote viewing sessions, and then when he found out what he was remote viewing, they had him go back and, and do some more sessions, and he just couldn't believe what he was seeing because he was literally seeing naked humans on the moon in a green mist with like these green lights and... The way that it was set up was almost like a football stadium, he describes it. But he said they looked exactly like we do. He said that they were all males, and they seemed to be digging into a hillside, so he thinks they were doing some type of mining, but they were totally naked. And if that's true, if there's any truth to this, then I would speculate there's some type of clones or something. But once again, this is all woo-woo, conspiracy, mixed with science and the fact that these rocks they brought back really are titanium, and that's why they are sending and putting billions and billions and billions of dollars and rockets and research into going back to the moon for mining. And it's not just the U.S. It's China. It's other countries like India. They're putting a lot of money out there as well. So this is definitely a group effort. So anyway, the, the book Penetration, you can actually read an e-copy of it. I think it might be on Courtney Brown's website or Farsight Institute. But Ingo Swan was certainly incredible. So anyway, what in the heck is the moon? Are we actually going out there to find something that's going to be far above and beyond just typical titanium? I don't know. I mean, just something interesting. I thought I'd bring this to your attention and get your take on it. What do you think these space rocks are? What's your take on the uh, fossilized neurons? Or is there a way that you can describe that naturally? I'm not the expert. So let me know. I'd love your opinions. Guestbookings at leakproject.com. Also, leakproject.com has some exclusive content. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash clandestine timelord. Be the change you want to see and question everything.